what's up <clears throat> name's rec i'm a coach welcome to another sample so these are the last samples that you'll see for patch uh, for season seven ending patch so there's only a couple of these left they were from the final giveaways and one from the end of the last stream which uh got a little bit colored because i had a few things i had to do um so this is for Sentil. Sentil is uh, Grandmaster 3. And he is the DPS. He's the Farah in this match. And this is a Scrimvod on Oasis. Let's see how we go. Uh, just a note for other one as well. If you're wondering what's going on with VOD reviews, etc. There will be an announcement regarding this at some point this week. Um, it probably may already have been announced by the time these videos go out, but just keep that in mind. There will be large amounts of giveaways going on during the Christmas season, so you should get amongst that. Now, Pharmacy is <clears throat> a solid choice for this map of Oasis because of the aerial, like, the, the amount of open air we have going on here. So, well done to actually, like, try and pick this out and do it this way. Now, the big thing is that, like, before you've even had a chance to, like, double-check this, you should always be mindful of the comp that you're running so given that your comp is uh, involves mercy kiriko as your support lineup you have absolutely lacking throughput healing you are purely there for the dps which means you have to pick out your target as fast as possible and kill them immediately and it definitely cannot be junker queen because she will actually be able to self-sustain long enough to deal with your shit now <clears throat> you want to try and go for the person who is the furthest away from baptiste because at least, at the very least, it will struggle to be able to put down uh, Immortality Field from across the way. But if they're all grouped up around it, it'll at least give you an opportunity to put down some good pressure as far. So that's like your main two choices there. Like so. Everyone got bunched in the doorway. We got some nice poke. We got out there in time. Well done. And so you have absolutely no need to chase you. You've already got the first point win. As long as you just cap it and then hold your line, you'll be able to go ahead and get a stagger. The only thing you don't want to do is be in the open line of sight of the Sojourn. Sojourn's the only person that can easily kill you at this range with Baptiste's help. If you take out at least one of them and are off angle whilst using the spam and <clears throat> cover to your advantage, you should be just fine. You have actually one on the comp here. It's actually very hard for them to get in against your spam. You don't want to be like edging forwards though. You don't want to make it possible for Junker Queen to also kill you. Even if you have your ulti available, it should be purely as like a landing behind them and blowing up moment. There should be nothing else that you try to do there. <clears throat> like so. That's exactly why I said you don't want to ever be close. You wanted to just make sure you were holding the area at range. So the big thing here is when you actually make this play, you've already endangered yourself and you've put yourself in a very, very terrible spot. <clears throat> Only made worse by the fact that you're, like you already kill off the Lucio and that's dandy. There's absolutely no reason for your ball to be this hard in the back line without like being able to actually roll out into like other means. The fact that he actually attempts this through the middle is just plain stupid. Like you really shouldn't have done that. You've already got the point. You've already got a pick. All you needed to have done at this point was just heal, reset, and just do the same thing. Just, just keep your pressure up on this. Because if they're still stupid enough to run through this same angle, right? This exact same angle is very, very bad for them because you can just keep spamming this and taking them out. You should just keep raining hell on this. You have no reason to drift down. You should be just maintaining your range. You should be using this wall for cover if you can. And then just bouncing backwards off the wall using your concussed shot if they end up engaging on that side. You've already made this hard for yourselves by just not engaging that properly. There shouldn't need to be a trade there. But that's where we end up, unfortunately. Because there we go, Farah's ulti is not great. Like, it's very, very difficult to actually make the best of that. So a good stick. There is not. See, if Tracy gets a decent stick there, then it's not even, like, that bad of a trade. But... Unfortunately, we're going to trade negatively out despite this. Are we going to try and make it back in in time? Yeah, ball's back. And so if you don't immediately ult there, I don't think you have a chance of even getting a trade. So that's, yeah, that's silly. So you wrote in your description here, I die a lot, not so fond of my Farah gameplay for like a good position better. I'm very scared to use Barrage so they get goofy. I'm scared of that. We'll find out. I'll get the rest of that when, I, when he changes next. But yeah, like... <clears throat> remember like you just kind of like try to take the drop bear initiative you just want to just land out like on somebody and just use your ulti that way 
Surely we rocket jump this and just concuss across. Oh no, we just concuss straight up. Okay. Okay, so the actual use of your ulti is fine. We do not need this like crazy, like, dear lord, my hands on fire kind of shimmering going on. Because it actually causes you to lightly swerve away from your target. But so just make sure you're at least just tracking your target. Like you are still trying to track it. It's not hit scan, obviously, but like it still stays like going towards your target. So you only want to play accordingly. Swerving your mouse all over the screen like you've, you know, accidentally <clears throat> stepped on, a, on an electrical current doesn't really help you out here. Again, keep the pressure up. This is good. Hell, you don't even have to be in the air for this. This is fine. Now you can take off. But you're not, for some reason. Okay, good. Nice knock. Get safe. Use the cover above it. Oh, no, you didn't fly up high enough. Oh, no. We had a chance. That's fine. We still use the cover, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Oh, we missed that shot, though. Direct. Beautiful. The ulti's not great, but it was an idea. But again, the tank's not going to be able to be killed if he's able to, like, face like face tank and, like, hit you with everything he's got. Like, a Junker Queen can easily handle it. Reinhardt at that range can easily handle it because he can still, like, face tank and swing on you. Because you'll still cop the, uh, the splashback damage as well if you don't immediately do that sort of work. You have to be very mindful about the amount of damage that you, you're going to take when you land down for that. Plus, Sojourn was still mid-ult, so it's not really the greatest uh, time to have gone for that either. You're already at 99%. You have no reason to, like, put that much more, that much more stake on it, so to speak. Like, <clears throat> you were still going to, ooh, that nice direct, well done. You should be floating forwards now just a little bit. Still staying up on the point, but yeah, like that, there we go. And say probably without trying to face tank the sojourn, but it's fine. If you can actually get down there and finish that, it would be good. Close. Nice direct. He dead. Surely finish off the JQ now that she's alone. How did we not finish off the Junker Queen? Good lord. Concuss back. Concuss backwards towards the... Oh, Jesus. Nice. Well, good react. Well done. All right, that turned out better than I expected it to. So well done. Cool. I expected that to go a little bit worse, but that's okay. We actually ended up going safe. So well done. You just have to be a little bit mindful about where you're going to like go with your flight. Like you were doing like the right thing about actually like changing targets and like moving around. But there are these couple of moments where you just, I, I think, I think we call it panic. Or you just are unsure what to do, so you just try to force it, and you just do not want to do that at all. <sighs> Surely they will be ready soon. Here we go. Alright, so we're on Tracer now. So this time you actually have a comp that's like a proper viable comp in regards to like, you know, doing things it's, it's originated to do. Except, yeah, the problem is you absolutely will struggle to take high ground with this comp. Unless you, like, get over there first and sort them out, but... The problem is, you playing at this range with Tracer doesn't net you anything. You've either got to, like, be a proper, like, flank for that team, or you've got to, like, play, play to your strengths and try to hold the point and stop them from coming in, but it's incredibly hard for you to do anything specifically here. So if you get the hack onto Diva and finish her off, it's good because you have to make you have to let her jump down for it. But that's it's kind of silly that she does that in the first place when she doesn't have to. But free win, we take those. <clears throat> now you don't have to do anything. Now you can just wait. Now that they're staggered as well, this makes this very easy. Except for some reason, your Winston takes a dive. What the hell's going on there? Hang on. Why did your Winston die? So he decides to just go straight up and in. Gets immediately shafted because he doesn't put the barricade down correctly on high ground. Dear lord. Alright. It's messy. It's getting messy in these streets, bro. Nice kill. As long as you keep staggering on, this is actually a huge win. Can you hit it? Oh, damn it. 
unfortunate, but it's alright. You get stick off this, which means you should be able to stick... Probably bring around it would be the best choice here. It would be nice to be able to stick, like, Soldier and... A soldier or Echo, but I don't think you'll ever get anywhere near Echo. And plus, she can get out of it with her own ulti anyway, if that comes down to it. You just want to... You want to just halt the tempo on Anna's... Yep, beautiful. Well done. You gotta remember though, the moment your rewind's out, you are very much playing defensively with your blinks until it's back. You don't have the health for this. Okay, now you do. You do. I don't think you actually pay attention to your health bar when this is going on. Oh, the Anna died to that. That's saddening. That that was a bit unfortunate. I mean, you got the you got within spitting range of the victory anyway, so it's not the worst like death to take. It's just it was definitely winnable, but you weren't paying attention to your resources and you weren't looking around for a health pack just to make sure you were out. Like even though you're playing in a scrim setting and you can rely on your teammates a little bit better, there is definitely some things that you have to be very mindful of. Blue card done. Off you go. Yep. Cool. Flank ink, except they're all doing high ground, so I don't see you being able to do that without movement. That could be worse. I see it. I see it. Oh, unfortunate. You have to kill that off before it happens. Good, well done. Everyone collapsed on it, that's really smart. Oh, I saw what you were going to do there. It was smart, but yeah. I was say, it was smart, but the moment you realize you've done it wrong, you shouldn't have gone back in. If you're going to go for that, like, yeah, sure, go for it the first time, but when your rewind's on cooldown, man, you don't have an out, you can't go for it a second time. That's all their ults, though, so that means you definitely win on this next fight. You just have to get the pick. Alright, surely now you make a play to go in and you actually just take the, the flank and take this out, right? This is all kind of hinging on your ulti here. It's yours versus Divas. You know he's up. If you hit this properly, you actually, like, hit god status. You have to know, right? I'm going to just put this out there. You have to know immediately when you do this that she's going to go for it. So, when this happens, this is the thing you're going to understand. When this happens, right? You already know that he's looking at you because he already saw you coming up. They know you have ulti. They know you want to go for this. So, the thing you have to understand is you have to keep an eye out for who your best target is and go for it. Now, the big thing when that happens is that you already know who your target is and what and how much gr a great value comes out of that, right? But, but, when you've got this many charges available, obviously, yeah, this keeps fucking with the with the long with the airborne thing. So I'm just gonna go back and just watch it rewind. But like, you've got this many blink charges. You've got rewind. You can easily make this work against that. What you should be doing is blinking a second time because you already know where they are and you already know that Diva's going to be looking at you. So you should be blinking a second time towards their back line here and then going for the stick because you know she's going to stare you down and you know she's going to make your life miserable and you know she's got a full bar of Matrix to fuck with you. There's absolutely no reason to go for this immediately. She's going to eat it, especially when it hinges on it this hard. You can't just rush it out like that. You still got the point off that, which is nice. Which means you can try and fight, like, you know, aggressively around the point. Get back on the point. Yep, good. 
Bray, well done. Both the healers are still alive though. Getting caught by that sleep dart is very sad, but it should have become very like apparent to you that you're going to have to wait for the for the Anna to come back for the nano, and then you can re-engage. You should just be trying to drift around the, the the middle area of the point. So I just want to just like I put this out there for all low rank players and or anyone that does a like vod with me, but I just want to just put this out there, right? When you're playing on a cough map. You have to understand that this like whole thing, once you've already got the point, right? It is bogus ground, right? You are orbiting the point. You are f taking your fights around the outside area, right? Which is fine. But the more that you are idled on top of the point, city center and like maybe a couple of other points are kind of an exception, but like you generally don't want to be fighting on the point. You want to be trying to pull enemies away from it as best you can and stopping them from actually getting towards the point. So it gives you a lot of like tempo uptime and like the ability to like when they actually start capping on the point, you actually have time to come back and stall even more. The problem that this presents when you're all just fighting around the point this hard is that if any of you step off for a moment, that progress bar is going to keep rolling up. But the big thing is that you want to take these safe... Like, the thing that they did that you guys didn't was that they were actually taking the safe havens on high ground and actually properly playing around it. You were just brawling the fuck out of them. So that leads me to believe that you either just, like, egregiously out, like, outskill this team and were just, like, not punished for it as much as you should have, or that <clears throat> the enemy just has no idea how to, like, take and hold a point. It was a good work to actually keep it at this point in time, but like the fact that it is this close this time around, with them actually like holding out effectively and you're still being able to like run over them that way, it just seems a bit odd. Yeah, I think it's only made worse, right? When you're actually put in this situation that like being being held out, so to speak, the way the way you were. And being unsure about how to like do your thing as Tracer. It's not the worst like attempt. It could be way, way worse. So be proud of like the way you actually like handled it. But the big thing is that you're not gonna get like any sort of massive, massive like uptime on the point or like ability to fight around it or anything like that if you don't like properly sync on a target. Like, you're doing a decent job of being a threat and a flank, etc. But, like, there weren't really a lot of times where you were just like, yep, we're going to hack the diva so I can go for a, a, a pulse bomb. Or, yep, we're going to split the, split the supports apart if possible. And, like, you know, me and Sombra is going to go and go and dive on Anna. That didn't... I, I didn't really see that happen. I didn't feel like that was really happening at all. You know? I just saw a lot of moments of just Winston, like, like your tank player just getting his shit packed in by doing really, like, really awkward flanks or engages without like everyone on board, or like your supports just trying their asses off to like just hard, hard carry, despite that, you know. Yeah, so they're running Sigma. You're running JQ, which means you have the ability to be more aggressive, which you engage on perfectly. Because if they can take the poke comp and actually hold the edges, then they would easily win it. But you don't have to allow that, and you can easily go right through the middle of them, which you did. So well done. Don't know why you have to be this far forwards. You already have your point. You can orbit around it just to hold them out, but you still have to use cover to your advantage. There you go. Good wall. He's separated, and he's dead. Well done. See, as long as you're raining damage pressure there, there's absolutely no way that even the Maywall is going to stop you from doing that engage. He went Reinhardt, oh boy. What an even bigger sad point. As much as I love Reinhardt, I just don't see that being a very fun engagement to run with when you can just Maywall. Unless you get fucking collected by his charge, which I was not expecting to happen. Shot, well done. Oh, 
Honestly, I feel like this is just a skill to scrim. Because now they're so under pressure, they don't even know how to like hold, like hold their angle. They don't even have alts to like actually work up for it. The only person who ended up with an alt was fucking, was the bat. No one else came up with anything despite that. Uh, not sure you needed to use that. You already had held the point on your own. I don't know why you needed to use that alt. You only wanted to use that to stop them from coming in, and that was never going to be the case because you already got a pick. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all. Because now, when the pressure's really mounting, you'd be able to use your ulti to actually stop them from coming in altogether. They would have to really overextend past you to have that. Now, but now the enemy's got four, basically four ultis. You were really playing that scary there. Honestly, left clicking might have saved you a lot of trouble there, but you hit some decent fucking right clicks. I feel like if you just didn't spend your ulti and you just altered that doorway the moment they turned up, both sides would have been frozen. There would, it might have been one person on their team that made it to point at most, and your other players would have been able to hold separate against that. Shot. Dear lord. Bro's got aim. Alright, we're doing the round the world. Oh dear. And that's the problem with the round the world strat. You go all the way around and you end up putting yourself on the outward line and you get pushed out. Very silly. Very, very silly. You have the old advantage now though. Hopefully we use that. At least before Reinhardt goes around and fucks your day up. But we'll see how it go. Nice shot. Wait, that hit someone? Nice reaction. Surely we kill that Lucio. Well done. Should have just put the wall between the two of you. That's unfortunate. Oh man, you had this in your hand and we th and there was a throw. If you come back to win this on 99 versus 99 again, I'm going to be very angry because this very much was doable for you all is to be 100-0 and we didn't even take the we didn't take the lead. We didn't take the lead with both hands when the time was right. There we go. All right, there, that's what fear looks like. But again, sa same problem happened over and over again. I'm getting so mad about that. I don't even know your team and I'm already annoyed about the way that like that is really just falling over itself. But yeah, like the the big problem there is just every single time you had the opportunity to win a hundred zero, we are just we are just at this point where we just watch you and your team just consistently roll yourselves into hell and not be able to actually finish that off. I I just can't understand why you have this such a sh it's such a garbage alt economy when you just throw. You just like, you throw like all of your shit out there because you think you're just going to win it at, like at, at, like with this weird stagger play when all you can do, wait, all you should do is just play it consistent. Now, I'm just going to read your DM quick. So on May, I feel like I am decent. I try to change my world placement based on enemy comp, but I think there's something to improve. Watch out for goofy barrages and May ults might get a heart attack. Might get a heart attack. So, honestly, the second barrage was pretty crap. The first one was fine. The fuck got them the right way around. It's the one the one where you got killed by a sojourn was pretty crammy, but the first one was the one with the weird mouse movement was a bit new. But like it was it was well placed. 
Um, the Mayalt. The oh, the Mayalt. The the tracer stick was sad, but yeah, the that that last Mayalt. The two last Mayalts were just very very mid. This like. I get what you were trying to go for, but you were already winning the first the first time you used it. There was absolutely no like rhyme or reason to getting that done. And um the second time around, there was just absolutely like nothing that your team could do because no one was able to engage upwards. You were already put on the back foot by Reinhardt's ultimate. Ah <sighs> The walls themselves were fine and the engagements were fine. I think the biggest problem just as a unit you are all going to keep facing is just lack of vault economy and your target selection is eh. It's not great. There needs to be more like effort put into actually picking off the back line if you're running Tracer Sombra. Seriously. Like there's no point in running such a di like a like a dynamic team comp that can just absolutely like deadlift the entire like the entire thing if you're just going to fuck that around. If you're going to fuck around like that. So, yeah, start working on that. Season 8's right around the corner. Let's see where it all goes, okay? Thank you, Central, for your VOD. Thank you all for watching this video. If you're looking for private coaching from me, rec9.net or discord.gg slash rexroast. Turn up, come through, look for some coaching. We are doing a Christmas special again this year, so if you're looking out for some VOD reviews, you should definitely come hit us up. Either way, love you all, folks. Best to you. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.